uh, I am at a point where I realize that it needs community support a bit more. Uh, I about 90% of my viewers do not subscribe and I want them to actually subscribe because it doesn't take anything away from you. Yes, the fourth Z9 update is actually a rebirth of the Z9. It is a Z9 Mark II. It is incredible to see what Nikon is doing with the platform, the Z9, um, and the capacity it has for almost sweeping tremendous updates. Firmware 2, Firmware 3, and then now the fourth one. This is what we have seen with auto capture is uh, is nothing sort of miracle because I would I would go on to argue that in a lot of people stuff said that when Canon R3 introduced the eye tracking feature and it doesn't work with most people's eyes with a lot of people's eyes I won't say most um, this technology from Nikon actually defeats that first of all using the Canon R3 you could be someone whose eyes are not actually recognized by the R3 and even if your eyes are recognized it depends on your human reaction time to see something registered and then you know all of that process in a world where photography and photography and filmmaking technology is enabling a lot of auto technologies auto capture is an astounding feed and it is so intuitive i watched this i watched this video i saw someone actually keeping the z9 in front of a um in front of a tree overnight to see if a bird comes there to sort of you know feed on the meat that he placed on a on a tree branch and you know just it just opens up so many types of usage and you're never going to now miss a shot because you know you know you can anticipate a moment you can anticipate motion and you can set you can tell the camera detect motion start shooting detect a certain kind of uh, object whether it's an animal or a bird or a human being or uh, a train or a bus whatever or airplane the moment you detect it capture it that is crazy i mean that i don't think it is it's a matter of automation where the human beings and human decision becomes irrelevant no i think it is just that things that was not otherwise and before this possible will be possible now what i'm very excited about uh, is is what it means for nikon to me it means that nikon is tilting towards becoming becoming a more software centric company who will, can you know create magic just just with coding yes they have to ensure that the hardware is capable enough for let's say two or three years of consistent upgrades and we are seeing that it's been almost going to be two years already and we are we are seeing no sign of nikon stopping in fact the kind of advancements that nikon is making uh, with each iteration on their XP7 cameras, it is astounding. I want to talk about what it means for Nikon at a time when Sony is apparently trying to move to rumors, but move to Android based systems. Canon is looking for mobile phone and mobile OS partners. These are exciting times, of course, but in that context, what it means for Nikon is tremendous. It means that without increasing capa hardware capability in, in the Z9 for the almost for the past two years, the kind of updates that Nikon have pushed, no other brand have been able to push. No other brand. It is almost, it's like their live test bed out in the hands of the, of the customers. Okay. And they are untiringly pushing these um, softwares, uh, these, these capabilities, I should say, out to consumers. And, you know, we have to remember that it is still the most affordable flagship. It is still the highest selling flagship. I think today is a time for Sony and Canon flagship users to take a hard look at the Nikon system and say, what reason other than jingoism do I have to ignore Nikon? I think with this firmware update, this is time for other people to actually switch brands. I say this is time for other people to give Nikon a solid try. Try out those uh, great telephoto lenses. Try out the 1.2s. Try out the 1.8 primes. 
यूज द जेड नाइन यूज द जेड एट अंडरस्टैंड वेर द सिस्टम इज गोइंग लुक एट हाउ वेल दिस कैमराज आर बिल्ट ओके दीज कैमराज आर नॉट फिल्म जी दीज आर वेल मेड प्रोडक्ट्स ऑल द लेंसेज एंड ऑल द बॉडीज एक्सेप्ट द जेड एफ सी ओके सो आई वुड से द निकॉन्स आर द बेस्ट मेड कैमराज दे आर सो सो वेल बिल्ट फॉर एंड सो रगेड द फैक्ट दैट दे डोंट हैव सेंसेज सॉरी शटर्स and the fact that they have that solid sensor shield they have the fact that they have tremendous ibis i mean i think the ibis is only second to panasonic um when you look at all of these things and the color science and the files the dynamic range the flawless skin skin tones i don't know guys i think today is a time when yesterday was the date when nikon did it and i think mark my words it was a it is it is it marks nikon's comeback the former 4 for nikon z9 marks nikon solid comeback it is even greater than the z9 itself i am calling it the z9 mark 2 in fact you know let canon come back come up with the canon r5 mark 2 and i i know my z8 will compete with it just one push of a firmware and i think we are not seeing bug fixes we are not seeing minor small improvements we are seeing whole camera worth of upgrades being added to the camera and yeah if you ask me after buying the z8 after seeing in i it, it you know when uh, the z8 came out a few weeks back and people started saying oh Uh, do you feel cheated that you have to pay so much more for the Z9? Well, you guys, you know, Nikon is there to take care of you. A flagship is a flagship. Yes, the Z8 doesn't have these capabilities right now. The Z8 will probably get some of these, but then we had to wait. The Z8 buyers, we had to wait one and a half years, almost two years, to get uh, to own something uh, close to the Z9 in the form of a Z8, right? So in this case as well, we pr- will probably have to wait a bit more. and that's that's the difference being a flagship owner you get to use the best of technology today okay and other people will sort of play that catch up game so me with my z8 this doesn't become any less camera of course not but now that i know what can be done with the same processor and the same sensor i want those features but i haven't paid that 1500 uh, rupee uh, 1500 dollars extra so i'll probably have to wait for that extra time i'm i'm fine with that meanwhile if you're a z9 owner congratulations you made you made i think one of the best camera choices in the last 30 years i think the z9 today the z9 mark 2 today is decisive to the best camera in the world starting from performance battery life video capabilities autofocus i mean the usability i mean oh my god i think what nikon great going great going please keep the space up don't think that firmer 4 has to be the last one if z9 can be pushed forward so much keep pushing because essentially you don't have to invest in a completely new camera model and you know um make investments in new designs and all that if you are able to keep upgrading this camera and keep taking market share from other brands with the same hardware you make money out of the same manufacturing process so it makes sense for nikon to keep pushing the limits of the z9 and the z8 i am so excited for the future of nikon i am so excited about the z6 mark 3 and the z7 mark 3 and i know there is going to be a zf I'm excited about the lenses that are to come, and I think now that you see Nikon leaning towards making software-based solid solutions, I think Nikon may actually launch a studio software, and I want them to launch a video editing studio software where they can compete with some of the features that Sony offers with their version of the software. Um, I think it's called what uh, Catalyst Browse. I want Nikon to do that because. Today is the time. Now is the time to hit hit the market hard with these capabilities. I think the cameras 
today need platforms, software-based platforms, and the cameras can become. There, there has to be force multipliers and softwares on on mobile phone softwares uh, on a web-based platform for editing and other value addition are the force multiply multipliers that you're looking at. Okay, and I think that's the future. That's the way forward. Okay, I didn't have a script, so I might have stuttered and stammered a bit. Now, if you like this content, please subscribe, and I'm going to talk to you a lot about a lot more things that are coming. I'm working on on the 12 to 28 dx um lens review you're going to see that in the next few uh, days also i've had a very enriching conversation uh, with photography discourse i'll put a link down below uh, a few days back i'm going to edit and put that video up if you want to help the channel grow there's a thanks button and i am i think for the first time in the history of this channel i am being open about it because i want to be able to sustain the channel uh, I am at a point where I realize that it needs community support a bit more. Uh, I About 90% of my viewers do not subscribe and I want them to actually subscribe because it doesn't take anything away from you. Um, and secondly, but very importantly, I have put the list of my favorite cameras down below and favorite gear down below. Uh, if you think you're uh, checking them out, do check them out. Uh, at no extra cost to you, I'll probably get a commission out of those products if you happen to buy them even if you don't buy them uh, it just uh, it tells amazon that yes people do come to the stores from my channel so they don't take the uh, that that uh, you know the, i think this program this affiliate program away from me i tried to run the affiliate program a few months back as well but then i think there were not enough clicks so uh, amazon closed the program down for me i i re requested and then I have the program back on again. And if you feel like just checking out some of the things, my favorite gear, some of my favorite gear, click on the links and just uh, even, even if you check them out, that helps me. With that said, I'm very excited about what the future looks like for Nikon. I'm looking forward to that 200 to 600. Very, very curious about it. Um, my experience with the 100 to 400 4 and 400 4.5 and the 500 PF has been amazing shooting outside, shooting birds. I am looking forward to the 200 to 600 from Nikon. I'm looking forward to actually using, adapting the Sony 200 to 600 a uh, few weeks uh, from now and using it on the Z8. And I'm very, 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 like, I'm like, I'm just lasting after the Z9 right now. If you can uh, get the Z9 by begging, boring, or stealing, <laughs> I'll probably get one and, uh, and, and try and experience uh, the new, ZN Mark II for myself. I'm going to see you very soon with another one.